Uh, Chair, now we're going to ask Ms. Norton from Washington, D.C. Uh, Administrator Criswell, I understand that in the weeks since hurricanes, Milton and Helene, FEMA has provided more than $1.6 billion in assistance to more than 910,000 households. <clears throat> FEMA has also delivered more than 16 million meals, 18 million liters of water, more than 3,000 rolls of blue roof sheeting, and more than 700,000 gallons of fuel to the communities devastated by these hurricanes. And 700 and 500 uh, FEMA employees remain deployed in these communities to assist with recovery. Administrator, what steps did FEMA staff take to contact their survive, to, to contact survive with, with survivors on the ground, including those displaced from their homes uh, and make them aware of the resources available to them? Congresswoman, FEMA has many ways that we can reach and connect with people that have been impacted by disasters. Uh, they can contact us through our 1-800 number. They can go through our disasterassistance.gov website to register for assistance. They can use the FEMA app. We also have teams that go out into the communities, especially in something like North Carolina where communications were limited, to make sure that they've had the opportunity to register for assistance or to check on their case to see what other information might be needed for them to finish it up and to process it. And then we establish disaster recovery centers, fixed facilities once the infrastructure supports it, so people have a place they can go and they can talk to somebody face to face and work through their particular needs and their particular case because we know everybody's situation is going to be unique to them and we want to make sure all of our programs are available and we help them find the right ones to support their unique needs. Uh, thank you. The destruction of Hurricane Helene left close to four million people without power. <clears throat> uh, Administrator, how did FEMA workers reach affected residents for support in this disaster response uh, effort, even if a certain region lost code activity or if a survivor lacked uh, access to, uh, to internet? One of the first things we do, Congresswoman, is we put part of our leadership team in with local emergency managers to work side by side with them to understand which parts of their community still need assistance. Then we can either direct our disaster survivor assistance teams to go into those areas, or also the state is sending their resources, like the National Guard. The National Guard in North Carolina did an amazing job of getting into the communities and helping people that have been impacted. This is a holistic effort. This takes all of us to be able to reach all of those impacted, especially in something that has been widespread and complicated as the destruction that we saw in North Carolina. Uh, I also uh, uh, want to recognize that because of challenges like these, uh, it did take too long for emergency assistance to come in such communities. We must learn the lessons of those shortcomings to improve the reach of emergency services at the local, state, and federal level. Earlier this year, the uh, National Oceanic <clears throat> Atmospheric Administration projected a, quote, above normal, end quote, hurricane season, meaning the level and intensity of storms and hurricanes would increase over this period. Eleven storms have, de have developed into hurricanes this year. More than a few years later, uh, Luhana uh, community uh, is still being built back after wildfires hit the land of Maui and recovery operations are still continuing more than two 
years after Hurricane Ian made land floor, fall in Florida. Administrator Criswell, what can Congress do to make it easier for FEMA to support long-term recovery efforts and assist with future disasters that strike the United States? Congressman, we have two pieces of bipartisan legislation that would be very beneficial to our ability to help communities, the Disaster Survivor Fairness Act and the Management Cost Modernization Act. And I understand that I'm over the time, but I'd be happy to talk more about those two pieces. They would be critical in changing the way we help survivors. I commend you and FEMA's thousands of staff from across the country who left their homes to deploy to communities in need and provide them with assistance in the face of destruction, trauma, and loss. And I yield back. Chair, now recognize.